afternoon. Two sides that are top half of the table, two sides that are neck and neck, two sides that have a, just a one point difference between them, and two sides that have a minus goal difference of one. And uh, they have so much uh, going, except that the visitors here today, Niger Tornadoes, have uh, been able to score more goals, but they've also conceded more than Acquire United. My name is Bowie. Bowie Atama and Ralph Tudor George is right here by me. Together, we're going to run you through this one. Ralph, everything points to a great game here. Indeed, a great game we're expecting. Although you did talk about the yawning stadium because the fans once again have failed to turn out their numbers, you know, to see Nigeria Premier League match day nine action. Uh, between this uh, visiting side, Niger Toledo's Aqua United have done well on the road, but uh, uh, at home this is about their second game and uh, they're expecting to get all the three points at stake here today and uh, we'll see how far this will go, but uh, certainly Bowie, I'm expecting a good game. Well, not too long ago, uh, they were in Port Harcourt and uh, they were able to hold Shacks uh, to a draw there, great game they had then, but Aqua United, Femi Thomas again in goal, uh, skipper for today is Octobon Gefiong, Lucky Nosa John Aguda, Olumide Ojedeji is there, uh, Monde Osagye, the old war horse, is also around, Ubong Ekpai, Nura Nakargo, he's also joined them, Musa Najari from Rangers International, now in Aqua United, Solomon Jabas, one of their battling midfielders, and Daudu Ebo make up the starting lineup for the home side, who uh, who is also a public servant. Well, for Niger Tornadoes, they have consistently done well. They've stumbled a few times, but they are becoming a more like a, a consistent uh, performance in the top bracket of Nigerian football. And in goal, we have uh, Nova Somoroje, who is uh, the captain for the day. Benedict Atula is also there, as is Ibrahim Dala, uh, Jehu Abdullahi, Emmanuel Arua, Iyo Liam, Gwaza, Bolaji Adeyemo, Simon Shehu, C.B. Guar, he's been around for all ages now. He's also there as St. Simon and Dento Essien. Well, a strong lineup. They also have a strong bench, we must tell you. A bench where you have the likes of uh, Karimu Shoibu and uh, Barnabas Abashi, as well as Patrick Agada. A little bit of a surprise, though. Uh, he's been on the bench today. Where well, the weatherman says expect heavy rainfall here in the city of Calabar. But uh, the sky has uh, not opened up and it has not fallen. <laughs> but it's not all bright here as a victory for them. And it's time for anthem. And the players uh, on the bench uh, will also, you know, adhere to the anthem of the team. The away team has also joined <laughs> in receiving the anthem of the home side, Aqua United. Well, that is quite becoming traditional here in Nigeria, isn't it? And, uh, well, you talked about it, especially the obviously exhausted ones that traveled all through the night from Mina to get to Calabar here at 8 o'clock this morning. And that's talking about Niger Tornadoes. Well, uh, you hope that uh, after traveling such a long distance that the players will have a, a day rest. But no, they are here in action. At any moment from now, referee Bumio Gunkola Day will get this action underway. Color, they're making sure everybody talks in uh, nice and uh, easy. Femi Thomas, an incredibly good goalkeeper he has proven to be over the recent past, and uh, one would be expecting to pull off some heroics again as the Gunkola they get set to get us underway. Who's nil? That's how it stood at the end of the first 45 minutes, and we're ready for Go Gunkola Day, who now has uh, got us underway again. It's Tornadoes this time, CP Guar. Having a penalty, the referee is not impressed, and uh, still Tornadoes looking like uh, they want to reply very quickly indeed this first half. CP a shot called for, and that shot comes. Tornadoes starting in a spirited manner this second half. Najare can't get to that ball. Tornadoes should be able to take care of it at Tule now for Niger Tornadoes. Musa Najare. CP he decides to go alone, solo. Selfish play at some points from CB Guar in this game. And uh, Najari, can he keep it in? He doesn't have that kind of pace. Uh, no way he was going to keep that one in. He would have uh, needed a uh, use and bolt to keep. Very clumsy tackle at uh, that time. And uh, that has ended. 
good football we've been seeing here coming through from uh, that man, Natari. The ball forward and it's to the new man. Duda decided to uh, put the ball over the goalkeeper. Well, I tell you, disasters are made of that. And another yellow card, uh, courtesy of Bumio Gukolade. Uh, that one going to the Tornado's goalkeeper, Noba Somorenge, for time wasting after 18 minutes. That's incredible, isn't it? It's still goalless here, though. And uh, what should have been the first goal for Aqua United, spawned by Sanderson. Great relief it must be for Tornado's as that one is lashed forward again. Must made a goal. Shows you the caliber of a player. Joshua Gariba is a former Zamfara United player. Showing a very... Backwards, hoping somebody will be there to pick it up for him. Najari. A little shove in the back, but uh, not enough to draw the referee's attention. Arewa. Long work forward. Over shooting stars post club. And then Ugo Rangers and Ejimba, the Oriental battle is still st just a 573 points at number 56 in the world. Guaza, Iolium Guaza going backwards, trying to get the ball uh, sent forward again by nothing wrong with that. John Aguda to Musa Najari. Najari to Babalo, but the shot was, uh, the pass was short. And uh, it's been taken over easily by Arewa. Ball forward. Well, the referee knows that uh, time wasting is a possibility here and is calling for the stretcher. He has to be helped off the pitch for the game to continue and for him to be come on to very good effect. Uh, that was a great substitution by uh, this technical advisor of a to be the goalkeeper's ball. And that was certainly no problem for Nobas Omori here. Twice beaten, he's not looking particularly shy at the moment. And the Niger Tornado is. Uh, are uh, really running out of time now. Ten minutes left of play, and uh, there are still uh, two goals down. Well, they have a numerical advantage, Niger Toledo, because uh, Nigeria was sent packing. But I also hear the score lines have changed uh, in some sense, as uh, <laughs> much as he has been doing in the midfield. Be looking for an icing on the cake here. It's Jamasun with that throw again. Dangerous throws he's been delivering, and that was one another. Well, the way the out and the head to it could just about send the ball anywhere. But it's another corner kick again. An extraordinary kind of player. And this does not make friends. That indeed is true. So we all prefer to leave. Arewa. Arewa with that one in the touch. It's a quiet United that still have the throw in. We are five minutes to the end of uh, hostilities here. It's still a quiet United up by two goals to nothing. And uh, neither to know those, they've played their hand. Great relief it must be for Tornado's as that one is lashed forward again. Aqua United players clustering together. They want to thank God for what he has done for them so far. United Tornado's, they are not tired. They don't look shy at all. They have another 45 minutes to come. But it has been a great game in the first half with Aqua United ahead by one goal to nil.
did. It's, uh... And before now, these two teams have met four times in all time. And of course, uh, two victories to either side. Uh, each of them winning their home matches. Tornadoes looking a little bit uh, short footed these early moments of the game. Lead of the ball rather easily. Musa Najare is there. He doesn't have exactly the fittest of feet. He goes down rather easily, and the referee allows play to continue. I'm going to tell you about uh, the two teams uh, coming into this game. They met four times. The last meeting was on uh, the 24th of uh, May. That was in 2009 and the 2008 2009 season. Aqua United won here by one goal to not former coach of Aqua United, and so he's playing against his former team. For a corner kick from the near side for Niger Tornado. Great relief it must be for Tornado's. As that one is lashed forward again for Aqua. Najare, lucky to get that ball rolled through to him. Uh, the pass, Jabberson thought he was going to get lucky. Uh, he couldn't get to that one. That was Daudu Ebo, really, who almost benefited from that uh, glancing uh, to Aqua. It is. Uh, it's floated in. It's unbanned. And uh, he knows he has responsibilities. Najari brought down from behind. The referee says uh, play should continue. Namde Azikiwe Stadium. Again, Efion towing the ball forward. Dala. Oliam Atenga pointing the way the should be player should have uh, played. But then it is a free kick from a very vital position. And uh, right... Well, I can assure you that if uh, Efion looking for Najari. Guaza couldn't get the ball away. And the pass that's a little trick to keep that ball in. In the past uh, couple of minutes, uh, the game has really been scrappy here. We've not uh, started to fall to his opposite number, Simon Chehu, to bring the ball back and attempt to motivate Solomon Jab. Ja